Hey everybody. So thanks for joining in. I just want to share that I don't have it all together. I am attempting to do this thing called life one day at a time. And some days are just really crappy. And I'm plugging through, attempting to get things done. And sometimes it's a frustrating day. And today was one of those days where I just, I'm locked out of accounts. I, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I know how to do. I'm asking for help in the ways that I know how to ask for help. I'm following directions when I'm being told to do so. And then when there's still an error and there's still a problem, it's like people don't want to deal with you when there's still a problem. They just want to like pretend that the problem has gone away and they want you to get off the phone. And sometimes the problem still exists and it needs further investigation. And I would like that investigation to get complete because I would like to have full access to my accounts. <sighs> okay, so um, what I'm getting at is that I'm not perfect. I don't have my life all together. I'm still dealing with clutter. I'm still dealing with, you know, banking and, you know, credit and identity hack issues because of what has been done to me. And it's a process. It's a very frustrating process. And I'm doing the best that I can with the skills that I have. And I'm trying to tackle one problem at a time. And I wanted to share something about a company and an app because it just illustrates again how reliant and comfortable people are getting with this whole digital world. And I'm trying to keep my, you know, day-to-day -day world in a certain way. And then the digital is one portion of that world, but it's not my whole world. So let me give you an example of what I'm dealing with. So normally, if you have a phone, an iPhone, I have an iPhone. And if I am going to choose to have an app or to download an app, I'm going to do it through the, through the app store with Apple. Okay. And most of the time, I'm going to review, well, how much is this app going to cost every month? Or is it a free app? And what are the charges like for now, at this point, for the next seven days, 30 days, whatever the requirements are? And then what do the prices jump to after that point? And I'm looking at all that data before I make a decision. And when I make a decision, I know that how I can turn that those subscriptions off inside of Apple, okay? But what's happening now is other companies are asking you to download their apps or they're, you know, somehow getting onto your phone unauthorized and they're being downloaded through email. Okay. And then I find out that this app is there. And I'm like, what is this? Okay. And as I'm trying to figure out how to get it off, how to stop it, how to cancel it, there's no business address. There's no business phone number. It's not listed in Apple subscriptions. And it's using the name of the company one time. It's using the name of the owner of the company through all the other subsequent emails. And they're so, you know, and then it's like you finally see, oh, well, the logo is the same. So it must be the same company with all these emails that I'm getting. And I've been trying to cancel something since February 21st, and it's the 28th, I think, today. So that's a full week of me persistently sending emails and canceling and calling my bank and canceling debit cards. And you get what I'm saying? Like, I've done so many things just to cancel this app, okay? And every time I get a response from this company, it's saying, hey, uh, maybe you don't know how to use our app yet. Um, let Maybe we need to un explain it to you better. And it's like, very clearly, my response was, I want to cancel all subscriptions. I don't want this app. I didn't authorize this app. I want a full refund. It's not something that I ordered, okay? And so what I'm getting at is the way that companies are now handling us as, quote, a subject or as a client is that they are treating us like we're cattle and that we're not allowed to get out of the pen, Okay. And I literally 
sent over 12 emails to cancel this. When I finally sent an email about them trespassing and if they trespassed again, that I was going to find them, all of a sudden, they magically and quickly, immediately within the half hour, deleted the subscription and sent me an actual invoice after I had to ask them again to send me an invoice. And the invoice still did not have their name of their company or their business address or their business phone number on the invoice. What I'm getting at is people are getting sneakier and sneakier every day. They don't want to get caught in whatever scam that they're doing. And some of these things, even though they seem like a legitimate app, they're set up so that you're not allowed to cancel. That's like not okay. We should be able to go into a normal protocol, a normal platform and go, oh, all my Apple subscriptions are in Apple. I'm choosing for these subscriptions to be on and ongoing, and I'm choosing to un to cancel, to unattach myself from these because I don't like them, I didn't order them, whatever, and I want to turn them off. We should have a right to cancel and to require and to request a refund, and it shouldn't have to take 12 emails in order to get it done and blocking De multiple debit cards in order to get the task done. That's insane. It's insane. And that is what I've been dealing with. These digital issues that are taking so long just to cancel them. So I'm just cautioning you. What are you connected to? What are you plugged into? Do you even have things that you don't want to be paying for every month? Do you even are you even aware of what you're paying for every month? It's only six ninety nine. Yeah, I know, but that six ninety nine and all those other six ninety nines add up when you're not even using these apps. And these apps, they don't even want you to quit. The other thing is certain subscriptions with companies that are supposedly giving you an app experience, and then when you get in the app experience, it's like it's nothing new or different than what their website is. But they're charging you an extra $10 a month in order to have this experience of what? Because there's nothing value. There's nothing of value. I mean, I can get all that same information for free if I just went to their website and I had to navigate a website. But if you pay for their app for $10 a month, you don't even get all the access that you get on their regular website that doesn't cost you anything. So what I'm saying is if this is what's going on and you're not paying attention, you could be being ripped off. And it may take you a while just to unhook from these companies that are trying to get money out of you. So you might want to just pay attention. Pay attention, everybody. And again, like, I don't have it all together. I am still navigating this crazy digital place. And I prefer face-to-face. -face. I prefer people over digital. I'm not into this whole AI you know, tell me how many times to do something. It's just not my, it's, I just don't like it. It's just not something that I would do or that I enjoy. And yet here I am recording this video on an iPhone because it's the simplest way to record a video. So yeah, I'm using simple tools, but no, my entire life is not managed on AI or apps. No, I like having a real life experience of, you know, tactile things. Like I write with a pen, a real pen and a piece of paper. Like that's what I prefer. So I'm just letting you know, take it for what it is. Have a good one, everybody.